Page four. So now we have x to the third minus x squared minus 6x over x squared minus 4x. And first step of factoring is to pull out what's in common. So I get x times x squared minus x minus 6 over x times x minus 4. And this factors to x and x, see it's got to subtract, so minus 3 and x plus 2, that'll make minus 6 plus 2x and minus 3x. And below we have x and x minus 4. So there is a hole at x equals 0. And to find out what that hole is, I put 0 into the rest of it, which is minus two, 3 times 2 over negative 4. So that's 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2. There's the hole. So now I can forget the x's for a while. And I can find the vertical asymptote that would be at x equal 4. And just for information, the behavior, it has to go opposite because that's a single factor. And then determine the horizontal or slant asymptotes. Well, we have degrees greater in the numerator than the denominator. So we want to divide, since this is out, we want to divide x minus 4 into x squared minus x minus 6. You could divide this into that, but I'm going to do this reduced one. x goes in there, x, so it's going to be y equals x, x times for x squared minus 4x draw the line, change the signs, add, and I get 3x minus 6, x goes in there, plus 3, so I have plus 3. There's my oblique or slant asymptote. And it says determine all intercepts. Well, the y-intercept is, put 0 in for x, and that causes zero, so it can't have one. None. And then x-intercepts. It's what makes the numerator zero, but we can't use the x, so it's three and negative two. Okay. Now, just in case I asked you to graph this, this would look like x plus 3, so it goes through plus 3, the slope of 1, vertical asymptote at 4, a hole at 0, 3 halves, and x-intercept at 3, and at negative 2. So this must go and it goes opposite, so there must be another part up here. Yeah, okay. All right. 14. If f of x equals this, determine g of f of 1, and I'm missing a parenthesis there. So f of 1 is 2 e to the 1 minus 1, which is e to the 0, or 1, one times 2 is 2. So then i got to put that in to g, and g of 2 is 2 minus 2, which is 0. Now I'm supposed to put f of x into g, so I've got to put this in for the x. So I'm going to get 
um, G composite F, that's an open circle, of X is going to be F of X put in for the X's of G, so that's going to be 2E to the X minus 1 in place of that X and then minus 2. Determine G of H of X. So I got to put stuff into H and the ones I can put into H are 1 and it goes to minus 1 then I'm supposed to put that into G so minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 then I'm supposed to put in 2 so 2 into H goes to 1 then I'm supposed to put that into G 1 minus 2 is negative 1 and then I gotta put in 4 goes to 3 3 in there is 3 minus 2 or 1 and then I gotta put in negative 1 and negative 1 into H goes to 4 and 4 minus 2 is 2 it says graph f of x so that's e to the x e to the x goes through there and e to the 1 is 2.7 e 1 over e and you can find those points the 2 will double the height so instead of 2.7 it would be 5.4 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.4 and 1 height doubled is 2 and the negative 1 over e becomes 2 over e which is about double the height and double the height so it looks something like this but then the minus 1 on the x moves it plus 1 so it finally ends up there there and uh, this point uh, this point which got doubled in height gets moved over 1 and looks something like that where this is 1 and this is 2 high there and this is 2 here and then determine F inverse of X so if F of X equals 2 e to the X minus 1 and you swap Y and X to find the inverse we get X equals 2 e to the x minus 1 power. Divide the 2 out and x, oh that's to y minus 1, switch into x and y. Divide the 2, so x over 2 equals e to the y minus 1. So now we're trying to solve for the power so we write it as a power equation or a log equation and it's base e so ln to what power do we take e to get x over 2 and that power is y minus 1 add 1 to both sides and we get ln of x over 2 plus 1 is y which is f inverse of x okay that's that page Hope I did.